Hi everyone, my name is Nina and today we're going to make crystals. So I have some instructions here and we're gonna make our own fake little crystals. So you'll need a few things if you wanna try this at home. First, I have this alum powder. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I have. I got a bunch of pipe cleaners, an old little paintbrush, some plastic see-through cups. Now, the instructions say mason jars, but I think these will work just fine, as long as you can kind of see through them, uh, and a spoon to stir with. You'll need some glue. The instructions say clear glue. So if this experiment doesn't work, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I used normal Elmer's glue. Now this dries clear, so I hope that it works the same. Um, a pencil or like a long stick some string, and some food coloring. So our very first thing is we need to cut some string. I'm gonna make three crystals and hoping that one of these turns out good. We'll, we'll have to see at the end of the video how these turn out. Um, so I'm just gonna cut three uh, pieces of string off and we are going to tie the string to one of our pipe cleaners. So. Just a normal knot around your pipe cleaner so that it stays secure, just like so. After you secure it, you wanna wrap this pipe cleaner around itself until it forms a little ball. So, kind of like that, it's this mini little ball now the instructions want us to have a bigger ball so they tell us to wrap two more pipe cleaners so you have three in total wrapped around this ball so take your time and wrap more pipe cleaner around your ball i think that is big enough and that is just two of my pipe cleaners. Some of my pipe cleaners are a little bit skinnier so I might use three on the other ones. So I'm gonna prepare the other ones now. So there's one. So we secured the second pipe cleaner. Like the first time, we are going to wrap it around itself until it forms a little ball. And there is our little ball. We're gonna take our other two pipe cleaners and continue to wrap around until it's slightly bigger. Number three, so. They're about the same size. These pipe cleaners are a little bit puffier, so it's uh, a little bit bigger. Now for our last one, I'm gonna do yellow. Tie it around just like we did the first one to secure it, and then we'll wrap the other pipe cleaners around it. And I'm gonna speed up this section so that uh, it goes a little bit faster for you guys watching at home. So there you go, we have all three ready to go. So now we wanna create a little station where our crystals can hang. I'm gonna take two of these plastic cups, sit them like that, and have our little rod hanging. So we're gonna put some paper towel under this so that when we make a mess, it will be okay. And we're going to cover our little pipe cleaner balls in clear glue. Uh, I just have normal almonds glue with me, so I hope that this works just as well. And you can use the paintbrush to help you spread it all over the pipe cleaner. When you covered the ball, you want to wrap the string around and have it hanging from your little station. And I'm going to hang this ball 
around. You know, it might actually be better if I made this a little bit taller so you guys can see. Okay, so we're going to tie our ball onto the string. I mean, onto the, move on to the rest of them. So because our last one got a little bit messy, I decided to put the glue in a cup and just dip it in there and roll it around. And we can use the paintbrush to help spread it over the rest of the ball. So here is our second one and we're gonna just tie it around. So now that we have the balls covered in glue and hanging, we are going to dump, sprinkle a little bit of this powder onto them. So I have a paper towel underneath to make sure we don't make too much of a mess, but we just wanna cover the ball in this powder. And do that to all three of them. And now that we have them covered in glue and then covered in the powder, we're gonna let them sit and dry for the day. So we'll revisit this once they are dry. So we've waited a few hours and I let them dry. Our next step is to add uh, water, boiling water to our cups, about two cups of boiling water. So I'm gonna measure it out here. It's about one cup. about two. And we're going to add three fourths cup of the olive powder again. And we're going to do one fourth at a time. So there's one and we're going to stir it in. We're gonna add our second fourth cup of the powder, stir it as well as we can. And then our last fourth cup. Dump it in, stir it as best as we can. After we've stirred it pretty well and it's dissolved, we're gonna add 40 drops of food coloring or guesstimate, just add Add a good amount of food coloring. I'm gonna choose uh, some green. Okay, after we do that, we just place our ball into The cup. Now we don't want it touching any of the sides and the ball should be fully submerged into the liquid and we're going to let that sit overnight. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other two and I have to go boil some more water so I'll be right back. Okay so the next cup I have is a little bit smaller and I don't think it's going to quite hold the two cups so we're going to guesstimate here on the measurements and I'm going to put one cup of water into the cup there. We're gonna add our food coloring. This time let's do blue. We're gonna stir it real good and then add in our powder. Because we don't have as much water, we're gonna do two uh, cups of this instead of the three that we did previously. So we're going to place our ball right inside the cup there and we don't want it touching any of the sides. Now unfortunately it looks like our third ball we don't have as much room so we're going to try and pull it back here. I already have the water cup ready 
So we're gonna add in some food coloring. This one, maybe we should make red. Let's try red. Our last step is put our last ball into the cup. Now this one is touching the side of the cup, which it's not supposed to do, but that's the best that I can do at the moment. So let's hope that the results look pretty cool and we'll check back in on this tomorrow afternoon. So this is gonna sit all night and we'll see what the results are like when we open it back up tomorrow. See you then. Okay, so it is the next morning and these have been sitting overnight all night. So we're going to take them out and we're going to rinse them off one by one. So we're just going to pull them out of here. We're going to take them over to the sink and rinse them off. First, we're just going to dump that out. That's a little hot. Well, our experiment for this one didn't work out too well. It does look like some crystals are starting to form. Uh, you can't see them very well, but it doesn't look fantastic here. Let's go try the other ones. Jump out our blue. All right, so here was our pipe cleaners were originally yellow and we used blue food coloring. Um, so rinsing them off, you can still see the yellow. I think maybe the water needed to be a little bit hotter and sit a little bit longer because I'm not seeing crystals. Okay, this is our last one. I used red food coloring for this. And I'm not seeing crystals. So, our experiment did not play out uh, how we wanted it. That could be because maybe my measurements were off. I didn't add enough powder. Maybe the water wasn't hot enough. It was supposed to be boiling water and you sit them overnight. Um, but also it could have been the glue. We were supposed to use clear glue. I just used normal Elmer's glue that dries clear. Um, so any of those things could have set off this experiment, but let me know what your results at home were. Um, hopefully yours come out a little bit better. Maybe I didn't let them sit long enough, um, but this is our end result. Let me know down in the comments how you did at home and um, what other experiments we could try in the future. All right, have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.